Hello there and welcome friends, in this video I'm going to show you the best longbows in the whole game. Now all of these will be composite longbows as well, so you will be able to benefit from your strength bonus to damage. Composite longbows are overall great weapons and there's quite a lot of good ones in the game. Please note that this list is in order of availability. Now the first longbow of note that you'll probably find in the game is the wicked longbow. It does have a rather unique effect that can curse the enemy whenever it confirms a critical hit and the enemy fails a will saving throw. This effect is more of a bonus really, as I'm not sure you will be able to proc it a lot of times. I would say the main benefit about this bow is that it comes with a plus 2 enhancement very early during the game. To find this longbow, simply head to the market square area in Canabras during chapter 1, then enter a house. Inside the basement there, you will face a shadow demon. After it's defeated, you will be able to loot the wicked longbow. Delamere's bow is another very powerful longbow that you can find at chapter 3. And very early, by the way, all you have to do is head left from Dresden until you hit the Temple of the Good Hunt. Inside, simply go to the basement area and loot Delamere's tomb. The special thing about this bow is that it has the holy property, so basically every single arrow fired from it is going to deal an extra 2d6 points of damage against evil creatures, so basically all the creatures you fight in the game. And remember, even though it's just a plus 2 bow by default, you can simply use the spell Greater Magic Weapon to increase it to plus 5. I'm prepared. So basically it's going to be useful even to the end of the game. Another powerful longbow is that I. First it will inflict the enemy with a minus 2 penalty to armor class with no save, so long as you attack them from more than 30 feet away, which is easy to do with a ranged character as longbows tend to have very high range. Not only that, but the bow is also powered by the axiomatic property. This means that it's going to basically deal an extra 2d6 points of damage against chaotic creatures, so basically all the demons you face in the game. You can find this special longbow by defeating the intoxicated demon leader in an area very close to the Battle Bliss arena during chapter 4. Now to me, the best longbow in the game overall is Killing Pace. This longbow has a very unique property that allows you to add half your ranks in mobility as competence bonus to damage. You can only really find it during chapter 5 by meeting the skeleton merchant on the world map. By the time you can get this bow, you will most likely have close to, if not already, 20 ranks in mobility, so basically it's going to be a plus 10 to damage, a quite big effect. Now you might notice this damage doesn't really show on your character sheet, but it is going to be applied in combat. It's going to be especially useful when you consider how powerful it combos with the many shot ability. For this ability, the more enchantments and added damage to your longbow, the better for your first shot. Well, so this was it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as you can see, you can find pretty powerful longbows on Chapter 1, Chapter 3, Chapter 4, and Chapter 5, so the progression is pretty good. Thank you for watching, and please remember to support the channel if you can. See you later, friends!